Typical weights or HIIT workout, what is the best for results? Well, this really depends on what your goal is. Are you trying to get bigger or stronger? Or do you want to get more active, play recreational sports, and potentially trim down? There's other factors, but in today's video, I'm going to help you decide which training is best for you. You got your typical weights, HIIT style, and then the Fit Club workouts. When it comes to typical weights, you have a typical routine. Now, when I first started in the industry, that's all I was taught and that's all that was available. We did not have excellent things like YouTube where we have so much resources to learn from. And even if you don't like TikTok or Instagram, there is still a lot of valuable information on there. You just know how to you just need to know how to sort through all the garbage. So when it comes to a typical workout, it's generally a chest day on Monday, back day on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday, and buys and triceps on a Friday, and then you take Saturday, Sunday off. That was the typical bodybuilding routine for a dude. When I was working at Shapes, that was basically the routines that all the guys did every week for the remainder of their workout career. Generally, the women were the ones that were doing legs like five to seven times a week, doing the cardio, doing the HIIT style workouts, but their typical routine would be more focused on the lower body than it was on the upper body. So for them, it might be like squats on one day, lunges on another day, upper body one day, then they might do some cardio, then they might do some abs. So I actually prefer that routine than your typical bodybuilding routine because who wants to get all top heavy? Now, when it comes to doing the typical weights, you're going to spend anywhere from 1.5 to two hours at the gym. And they're usually done solo, so you work out by yourself with your phone, your headset, and uh, you just work on your sets and your reps. There's little to no cardio. And your focus is lifting heavy weights, racking weights, and the routine is always the same. The focus generally when you're doing a bodybuilding routine is to focus on building size or bulking. So most people that are doing bodybuilding are looking to get bigger and somehow they want to miraculously get leaner without actually doing any type of diet or any type of cardio. The only time they'll actually diet down or do cardio is if they've got some kind of trip coming up or if they are looking to get on stage. So the typical weight training session is long. It's two hours. Usually just pick one muscle group per day and focus on that muscle, muscle group. You work out for about 10 to 12 reps, and then you usually rest for about a minute. So that's if you're looking to put isolated muscle groups together and you wanna just focus on one body part per day. When it comes to a traditional HIIT style workout, when I first started in the industry, a boot camp was considered no equipment and it was like a burpee style workout. So there's very little resistance. It's very fast paced. And there's usually some kind of crazy movements that gets your heart rate up. So for instance, doing burpees, doing jumping jacks, doing uh, sprints, doing ladder work, like all the things that incorporate very minimal resistance. And they're usually done in like a gym, like, uh, you know, like a community center, or they're done like outdoors in a, in a boot camp setting, right? So that's your traditional HIIT workout. They're usually only take about 30 minutes they're done in a large group or they can be done in a solo setting and it's focused more on weight loss and conditioning. So the HIIT style workouts won't get you the muscle volume that you might want, whether you're a male or female, but they're definitely going to help you to burn calories. They take up less time and you're going to get in pretty good shape. Now, when it comes to the Fit Club style workouts, we incorporate a lot of circuit style trainings and we have heavy weights where we even have dumbbells all the way up to 95 pounds. We have kettlebells that go up to 120 pounds, which are very heavy, and we have weight machines all around the entire gym that go up to 150 pounds per stack. So we have light weights that if you're just starting and you're just building your muscle and you don't wanna to be too sore, we have all the way from threes, like I said, all the way up to 95s. So we do some crazy stuff sometimes, but they're all modifiable and we do some sport conditioning stuff because we wanna keep you functional. Now you would think that, you know, I can't run because of my bad knees, but honestly, like we have people in there that just walk it and people walk it until they can jog it and then people jog it until they can run it. But either way, it's all progressive and it's modifiable. Now the gym has a dark setting 
and it's got glow lighting as your path and there's absolutely no phones allowed on the floor. I mean, some people will take Instagram photos of, of themselves, but they usually get called out for it being a distraction and that they need to get back to work. So if you're looking to come to a gym where you can sit on your phone and chat with your friends, it's not gonna be that gym. But if you're looking to come and you're being in an environment where everybody's supporting you, high-fiving you, and you feel the vibes, then we have that setting for you. We like it dark because who wants to see another person sweating? I mean, it's cool to do a little high five, but in a larger group setting, you know, we like it to, to be more intimate. We want you to feel comfortable and we want you to feel more welcome. And the group setting is amazing because of the fact that you get to meet other like-minded people. So people that are nervous about working out, people that are looking to improve their life and people that are coming to just try their, to be their best. Now it's a complete workout where we incorporate a warm up. We'll do some cardio, we'll do some weights, we'll do some HIIT training, and then we do a cool down and a stretch. So it's basically everything that you need in under 30 minutes. Now most people come and do a Fit Club workout five plus sessions a week. In fact, we have people that are hitting 4,000 workouts and they've been with us for less than seven years. I mean, 4,000 workouts in less than seven years. I think that's fantastic. By 10 years, they'll probably be at like 6,000, which is crazy. But you will become obsessed with working out because you're gonna be obsessed with feeling good after each and every workout that you do. Now, the focus that we do is getting tight and right, tone muscles, and muscles that are functional for any activity. So whether you book a family vacation where it's gonna be a more active one, let's say that you go to Vancouver and you wanna do the grouse grind, well guess what? You're gonna be able to do that. Now, if you wanna to go to a seven day all-inclusive and you, you, know, you really wanna showcase that body, we will also get you there. So where am I most biased between the heavy resistance, slow paced workout, versus the like fast paced, low resistance workout, well, I'm gonna tell you Fit Club is where you want to be. All of them are great workouts and everything is gonna make you sweat if you go hard enough. It just depends on your body goals and the environment that you want to be in. So that's it Fit Fam. That wraps up today's discussion on choosing the right workout for your fitness goals. So whether you're wanting to do a regular fitness or workout routine, rocking those hit sessions, or ready to join us at Fit Club, there's a workout style for everybody. If you're ready to take the next step in your fitness journey, we'd love to have you join us either virtually or in person. Just shoot us a message through our website at www.fitclub.fit. So whether you're aiming to get bigger, stronger, more active, or just looking to trim down, we've got you covered. Remember, at Fit Club, we bring you a mix of circuits, heavy and light weights, some crazy movements, and sport conditioning, all in a high energy group setting. No phones, just sweat, smiles, and maybe a high five or two. So hit us up, let us know your fitness goals, and let's crush those goals together. Whether you're a seasoned fitness enthusiast or you're just starting your fitness journey, there's a spot for you at Fit Club. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you found it helpful, and drop your comments below. I can't wait to see you on the blue.